Okay, congratulations sa mga sumabay sa ating signature pattern na divergent head and shoulders. As you can see po, dyan sa screen natin, uh, nakompleto na, no? Complete na po yung head and shoulders na inaabangan natin. In fact, uh, we detected this pattern noong May 14, pero ngayon lang natapos. So, if ever nag-trade po kayo nito, sabay po tayo nag-trade at uh, for sure, kumita po kayo. Yun lang nga, yung mabot ng isang linggo. So, practically, last week, wala, pa po, wala akong kinita kasi nga hindi natapos yung trade ngayon lang. Now, ang pag-uusapan natin is the enhanced version that I have uh, right on my blog. Yan, this is the... This is the instructions of the enhanced version of the entry point no? uh, for particularly this is designed for the right shoulders kasi minsan nga yung entry point natin no? uh, pag premature natatamaan yung stop loss diba? tapos pag uh, uh, late naman or, or aside from premature no? ang effect ng premature natatamaan din yung na tatamaan tayo sa consolidation period niya minsan talagang nakaka-stress din naman no the, kaya ang ginawa ko uh, aside from using my my old indicators uh, ang ginawa ko is kinombine ko yung indicator na gamit ko before sa scalping so practically uh, before I'm gonna discuss that I'm gonna show you the benefit of this new enhance na strategy sa pag-trade ko particularly on the head and shoulders patterns pwede din ito sa ibang pattern no? but uh, I'm just gonna discuss it on the head and shoulders so the benefits are yung premature entry may iwasan pag uh, may iwasan mo yung premature entry hindi ka magkakamali, hindi matatawan yung stop loss mo at hindi ka masistress kasi hindi ka rin tatamaan ng consolidation period. Diba? Maiiwasan yun. Then, you will have a calculate allowable risk. Like, uh, specifically sa akin, for my account, I, only, I am only allowed to risk around $30, 30 to $35 if I'm gonna be strict on my money management. Now, this is based on my calculation of my my account. So, yun lang dapat. So, dahil dito, I have uh, calculated an allowable risk. No? Then, pwede mag short time trading kasi nga, uh, ginamit ko as I have said, ginamit ko yung entry point ko from scalping. So, uh, practically, it will just take 15 minutes tops and 15 to 1 day ang trading hindi kagaya itong uh, sistema the old system natin uh, which is nakikita mo naman talagang umabot ng 1 week right so sayang yung time natin di ba uh, although we have won or we have earned but yet uh, uh, maraming opportunities na we miss on the other currencies uh, then Lastly, this is the one that I'm trying really to learn without uh, without sabotaging my account is the high frequency trading. So with these four benefits on my new enhanced strategy, makukuha natin to. So this is the particular part kung saan no, mag, mag e entry point. Diba? Like uh, dito, saan yung right shoulder mag-uumpisa. Diba? So, last May 14, ito po ang nakikita natin. Na magli-replay lang, magli-replay lang ako. Yan. Last May 14, yan, 14 to, 14, ito po nakita natin. Wala pa po, hindi pa pa siya na bumaba. No? So, so as I have plotted and have posted on our fan page, kailangan mag-abang-abang tayo sa right shoulders. And specifically then, uh, nabanggit ko doon is meron kanya-kanyang strategy uh, sistema sa paglagay ng entry point nyo. No? So, eto, 
this is designed na pwede niyo naman gayahin or even you enhance more no uh, pwede niyo gayahin to pwede din niyo enhance more uh, based sa kagustuhan niyo sa akin eto po ang ginawa ko so let's go for the uh, instruction so the step is syempre number one, kailangan siya pattern since we are a pattern trader di ba so pattern is a must uh, we will only use this entry point na ganito if meron na form na pattern. Right? And it's either bot, guardly, the harmonic patterns, or the head and shoulders, or even the ABCD pattern. The next is, kailangan yung Fibonacci retracement must reach 0.618 but not above 100%. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Ito po yun. Diba? Uh, for the head and shoulders, susukatin po natin Yan. Susukatin natin to From head, shoulders, hanggang dyan. Yan. Susukatin natin yan. Boom. Okay. Sabi sa instruction, kailangan umabot ng 618. At hindi naman lumampas ng, uh, ng nandito. 100%. No? So, talagang sa head. ba? So, meaning to say, if ever the candle the price actions no the price did not reach this one at ang ginawa niya hindi siya hindi man niya na touch man lang at dumiretso nang bumaba eh we don't have to trade so it is really very important na paabutin natin ng 618 yan diyan dapat umabot siya diyan no sa 618 oh. so sinukat natin um, from head shoulders to the neckline at ang sukat niya tanggalin mo na natin tong shoulder na to yan para medyo malinaw-linaw ang konti yan so sinukat natin yan ito from head to neckline at uh, kailangan yung retracement niya aabot talaga ng 618 now the next one is uh, identify the support and distance like above 0.618 is preferable this will give you guide on the potential drop zone. Kaya, uh, if you have watched my video about drop zone, dito talaga maiiwasan ang, ang problema. Lalo na pag hindi kayo continuing, continuing trader, no? uh, ma, 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 mabibigyan nyo ng halaga ang drop zone. So, dito, as, as for, of course po, kasi, uh, hahanapin natin yung uh, support and resistance. And when I do this, I'll go to 1R. So, punta tayo ng 1R. Ayan. So, the support and resistance na nakikita ko, okay. So, this sa head and shoulders na halap ko yung support resistance, which is sa 1R, eto ang nakikita ko. Yan. So, lalagyan ko ng support and resistance. In this case, uh, malalaman natin, magkakaroon tayo ng drop zone na sinasabi. Yun. So, lalagyan ko lang ng... Yan. So, dapat, no, lumampas siya dyan. Dapat dito na area siya. No? Magkakama, mag uh, umpisa and will give you a signs na babalik aakyat na siya so that's the important of this no and it's preferable talaga na after the 618 hindi yung hindi yung before 618 mas preferable na dito ilalagay yung drop zone now the next instruction is uh, of course, merong note po dito for the head and shoulders. If head measurement is 30 pips from 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, then consider advanced trading. Ito po yung hindi na natin no, hintayin na hintayin na umabot pa siya ng 618 since uh, yung, head, yung head naman na area is from, sh from shoulder to head is only just 30 pips. Eh, 30 pips naman, 30 dollars ang allowable ko na pwede akong uh, i-risk so diretso ko na yung mag-advance trade na ako 
But this dito, makikita natin yung 618 pag sinukat natin yan hanggang sa head shoulders. That is around 55 pips. Kaya hindi siya pasok. No? Hindi tayo pwede na mag-advance trade kasi medyo matlaki ang ating i-raise go. This is 55 pips. So, Uh, meron din dito for the harmonic pattern ang measurement ng A so kailangan 30 pips din yan no? so let's proceed so number 4 if more than 30 pips then must wait for price re rejection tip and price rejection retest tip it is important that this reje rejection tip will follow the rule of 618 If by chance it will form another higher rejection tip, then the test tip might also be changed. Ano pong ibig sabihin dito? Yan. So, I'll just uh, show to you what I'm trying to tell. Diba? Yung sinasabi kong rejection tip, diba? kailangan uh, magkakaroon ito, ito. This is the rejection tip. Magkakaroon ng rejection tip. So, ipreplay ko na ito ngayon no, para malalaman natin kung kailan at uh, alam natin yung tamang position ng ating entry point. So, ipreplay ko na ha. Okay, lumabas yung rejection tip. Meron naman rejection tip. Boom! So, pansin nyo? No? So, nakita natin talagang nilampasan pa talaga yung drop zone natin. Which is okay lang kasi hindi naman lumampas ahead. ba? Diba? So, eto yung sinasabi kong rejection tip. No? Lampas siya ng 618, nag-rejection tip siya kaya bumalik siya doon. So, ang gagawin natin, lalagyan natin ng sinyales yan. Na yan yung rejection tip niya. Tapos, the next for the reje rejection tip, hahanapin po natin yung uh, rejection retest tip. Ito naman. No, kasi, nag-rejection siya kasi i-retest niya ulit ito. So, merong rejection dyan. Yan. So, lalagyan natin yan. Para malaman natin na dyan nag-umpisa on the 1-hour chart. After that, di ba? Yan na yun, no? So, meron na yun. That's number 4. Number 5, once you get the rejection tip and retest rejection tip, then it's time to use the moving average 20 and moving average 50. Entry point must be cross over on 15 minutes chart. Plus, Uh, to confirm your entry point gagamit din, din tayo ng MACD no? so dito sa MACD dito naman natin sinasala itong mga crossover kasi meron din naman kasing fake crossover yun pala hindi akyat or yun pala hindi bababa so si MACD ang intul natin na to confirm that the crossover is valid no? so dapat pag mag-trade tayo ng up so makikita natin meron from going down going up no na MACD at ang volume non so let's proceed so yan dahil meron na tayong mga rejection tip at rejection retest tip we will go to the 15 minutes chart So, dito, if mapapansin mo, diba, ito yung rejection tip natin, and ito naman yung retest rejection tip. So, ang sabi doon sa instructions na sinulat ko, i-on natin yung moving average 20 at moving average 50. Yan, ito turn on ko na. So, here, as you can see, I'm on the 15 minutes chart. So, 
eto na yung sinasabi ko. This is the 20. And ito mga circles, is, this is the moving average 50. So, hintayin natin ang crossover. Diba? So, let's play. At para makita natin yung crossover. pang crossover yun so pansin nyo yun, ba nagkaroon kaagad siya ng crossover yan nagkaroon siya dito ng crossover so before ito nagbigay ng medyo malaki diba? however ito nang sinasabi ko dito naman natin makikita ang function na MACD Yung crossover na ito that's going up eh hindi siya valid not because nakita na natin itong malaking candle na yan but hindi siya valid dahil nga po dito sa MACD no, number one is kailangan natin yung ganito na form no, merong down at going up and aside from that nasa below siya ng zero so meaning to say ito downtrend pa ito kailangan ang crossover na hinahanap natin which is going up dapat etong line na to nasa taas ng dito na area kaya hindi siya valid so let's proceed ha hahanap tayo ngayon hihintayin natin yung valid na crossover yun kita nyo ha kita nyo so we got here Another crossover, pag tiningnan mo sa MACD, nasa taas na itong line niya. No? Nasa taas ng zero, so valid siya. So, however, nang galing pa siya pababa, yan ang gusto kong makita. Meron siya nang galing pababa, tapos nasa taas na. So, where is the entry point? Ang entry point po is after itong candle na to, kasi dito nag-show yung crossover. ba? So ngayon ang gagawin ko, mapapansin nyo, no? Ah, uh, magte-trade ako ng going up long. Okay? Ang stop loss ko is diyan. Then, ang take profit ko is upon the completion of the head and shoulders. Yan. Now, Mag-trade na naman ako ng isa. No, this is, the, this of course, this will depend on the uh, how much my capital. No? Pero, dito, gusto ko nang i-emphasize itong high, high frequency trading. My stop loss is again doon. Which is, that's around... Uh, 30 pips, 31. Gawin natin 30 kasi I'm only allowed to lose 30. 30 pips. Yan. Then, ang take profit ko naman is 30 pips then. So, that's one is, one is to 1 ratio. So, this is the strategy that I'm telling you na in-enhance ko siya, ginamitan ko siya ng moving average para mas specific. See, if only if ang ginamit ko is just uh, etong, etong candlestick lang to, no? Pag gumamit lang ako ng candlestick, mapapansin mo, nag-retest pa siya ng pababa. So, pag nilagay ko yung stop loss ko dito, eh ba, tinamaan siya ulit another loss trade na naman. ba? So, this is the reason na no, maiwasan ang premature entry. Aside from that, makakalculate natin yung allowable risk natin. Uh, then, meron akong short time trading para iwas sa stress, pero hanggang 30 pips lang. Uh, plus, etong short time trading, dito ako pwedeng mag-trade ng malaki. Parang high frequency. So, aside from that, magtitrade din po ako ng, syempre, ng aking swing type. 
uh, completion of the head and shoulders. Diba? So, let's proceed. Pansin nyo. Yun, umakyat na. Tapos bumaba ulit. Yan, umakyat na. Boom! Pause ko lang ha. So, kung nakikita nyo, kung, kung nag-trade tayo dito, from here pa lang, tapos na yung trade natin sa short time trading natin. Eh, kung tumaya tayo dito ng $2, di, nagkaroon na tayo ng $60. Dito pa lang, tapos na. Diba? So, proceed. Nakuha na natin to. This is part of our benefits. So, let's proceed. Para makuha naman natin itong full type, itong swing type na to na hanggang sa structure. So, so nakikita nyo, ayan na, dahan-dahan na siya. So, kung mapapansin mo, yung trade natin na ito, eh, tinamaan na. Diba? So, kumita na tayo ng 88 pips. So, let's go. Balik natin to 1 hour. So, kung makikita mo, yan na po. No, kumita na po tayo ng 88 pips. Natapos na rin yung head and shoulders na, na inaabangan natin. And it took one week to finish. So, from here, makikita nyo po that uh, the effect, how effective ang moving average na entry point combining with the other in indicators na ginawa natin. At uh, from here, talagang iwas stress as much as possible, short time lang yung trading natin at kumita na tayo. So that's it po, medyo mahaba yung video, pasensya na, no? it took me 24 minutes to explain from this. However, hopefully na nakita nyo yung importance no? ng entry point na the enhanced version. No? Pwede nyo rin ito uh, gawin sa mga ibang pattern but as of now, I'm still trying it on head and shoulders which is nag-effect naman. So yun lang po, paraming salamat.